Algae microfarms can enhance our food culture using a very small area. Now we can grow algae superfoods at home, in schools, in community and urban gardens, supplement vegetable greenhouses and rooftop farms, transform living buildings. I'm Robert Henriksen. I've authored three books on algae and my newest is Algae Microfarms. Thirty years ago, I was a founder of one of the world's first and largest algae farms. Now, microfarms may be coming soon to a community near you. Algae like spirulina are 20 times more productive than conventional crops. These superfoods have powerful health and medical benefits. Over the past 30 years, many people have asked, how can I grow algae? This new book features individuals and organizations producing algae on a small scale. For 20 years in the developing world, appropriate technology farms have been growing spirulina. Today, there are farms in dozens of countries. Some are humanitarian, some are commercial, some are both. Over the past 10 years, 110 micro-farmers have spread across France, from the Mediterranean to the north, and even in the Alps. These algaepreneurs are selling their own products in their local region. Others are building indoor photobioreactors for high-value nutraceuticals. How will algae change the world and improve our lives? Imagine cities with living green skins. Well, the first algae buildings are here now. The book Algae Microfarms has these stories and hundreds of color photos and charts. Algae Microfarms is available at Amazon.com.